Hey everyone, it's Alex Wilson from Toronto Penthouse Living and today I have Anson Kwok with me, VP of Sales and Marketing for Pinnacle Developments. Um, Anson, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, today we are sitting in one of uh, Pinnacle's premier uh, developments wise and premier units. This is 16 Harbor, unit 5401. Um, and first off, let's start off with Anson, why don't you give me some background on the on the builder and and uh, their philosophy and building wise? Well, thanks for having us today. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Pinnacle has been around for almost forty years, mm -hmm. so we've been we're based out of Vancouver, so we definitely have uh, gone from Vancouver to Toronto. Uh, we're in San Diego as well, uh, and really traditionally we've been building a lot larger units uh, for both the Toronto market and the Vancouver market, just from. Um, th really, it's the new house. Yeah, exactly. We were yeah. talking being that being from Vancouver as a developer wise, knowing that you're in a true land scarcity situation where people do make their homes, their house in condos uh, wise. And, and I know that Pinnacle brings that larger template here and that experience based in the Vancouver market and bringing, bringing that uh, to Toronto. And you yourself, we were just talking about you have a young family and you're living in a condo yourself, right. larger unit, and we're talking about schools and everything like that, where you're gonna send your kids. Yeah, I mean, I definitely uh, live like that's what we preach, obviously. Mm -hmm. we, I live in a three bedroom with a three year old, mm -hmm. um, and we have a, a three bedroom condo, and it's true three bedrooms. You know, mm -hmm. We can all sleep in each, each room without uh, having some challenges uh, or having custom furniture made. Yes. So um, that definitely helps. And that's kind of with consistent through all our projects. So you'll mm -hmm. see uh, throughout Toronto, whether we have penthouses or designated higher floor sections, there are mm -hmm. always three bedrooms that are built for people to live. And Pinnacle may not be a household name in Toronto, but it's because you guys focus more on that big master plan site. So uh, right now we are in the Pinnacle Tower, is that what you call it? It's, it's Pinnacle Center, so Pinnacle that's, Center. that's four towers, four 2,000 towers. units. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're in Mississauga, Pinnacle Uptown, mm -hmm. it's uh, 10 towers, mm -hmm. about 3,000 units, mm -hmm. and then we're also in Pinnacle Etobicoke, mm -hmm. uh, which is also nine towers. So mm -hmm. uh, we're definitely into big communities. Obviously, mm -hmm. the, the largest one we're working on is uh, Pinnacle One Young, mm -hmm. uh, so that's 2,500 uh, residential units, yep. 95 stories, 80 stories, and 65 stories, yep. and also 1.6 million square feet of office. Yeah, so your, your big focus is on, you may not be all over the place, but you're centralizing the, and, and building up over these 10 year phase development wise right. and, and contributing to the community. And what's, what's interesting is you've doubled down now in this area, and we were talking earlier, where we're located, we're basically located uh, just at Young and Queens Key, we're right around the corner from there, and you guys started in here when there really was nothing in this area. Uh, it was just known as the area south of the tracks. Uh, and Pinnacle had the vision going, okay, well we see um, limited land. Um, we know, if we look out with a crystal ball, we know in the future it's gonna come down here. Now we've seen the whole area develop develop around you. Um, so wh we were talking, wh what were some, who are some of the buyers who kind of come to see this area now? Well, I think it's, it's really kind of changed. I mean, talk about when we first started, I, I think a lot of people thought we were kind of crazy that we bought south of the Gardner. That mm -hmm. was kind of unheard of in the city and mm -hmm. luckily we're from Vancouver, so maybe we didn't know about the Gardner as much as uh, Torontonians. Yeah. But uh, now you've got a whole um, slew of office buildings coming mm -hmm. here now. So I think there's a lot more of a partnership between uh, a, people obviously living in the office buildings, but also executives wanting to come down to be closer to the workplace versus uh, commuting from a lot further away. Hey, that's what we preach, that's what yeah. we preach. And we know we have uh, TELUS Tower, which is right around the corner from here. We have PWC Tower. Um, we have uh, Sun Life, they have their tower here. Uh, we actually have put people that, they, they relocated the Sun Life Tower two years ago and they moved into this building wise. Downsizers uh, were KW, they moved down here. We recently sold one at 10 York where our, our client, they're moving into the new office space going up at, at 16 York. And then we have the big one. That's not yeah. even the big one yet. Literally across the street, you have CIBC Tower where you have CIBC consolidating over 15,000 jobs into one location. You have Microsoft moving their headquarters from Mississauga all the way to downtown. And Anson, all these people need places to live, right? For sure. And then when we look at spaces like this, where predominantly you have these towers, you have the smaller floor plates, you know, the three, the four, the five, to the 600 square feet. So literally Toronto Pentos living people, the, the new two bedroom standard size is about 650 square feet in downtown Toronto. But because Pinnacle focuses on larger templates, 
that's not what they're selling. So today in 5401, we are in a true three bedroom unit, which is over 4,600 square feet, an absolutely stunning space uh, over two uh, levels. So why don't you give me some more insight about this, well, what makes this unit special? I, I mean, this was a kind of a unique penthouse unit. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, you have a three bedroom unit here with a large spacious entertainment space, but then mm -hmm. you can also go upstairs and you have a indoor 34 foot pool, which uh, that's your own pool. You take care of it if you want to make it uh, into bath water temperature, you can do it. Uh, if you would like a cold plunge, you can do it as yourself as well. Uh, also with outdoor terraces. That's a great idea. You know, like, like, yeah, you, you watch those Tony Robbins things yeah. and talk about the cold plunge. You yeah. can literally have your own cold plunge. Pool yeah, you can, you can do that. And obviously you have you know, 270 degree views of the city, uh, views of the water, view of the city. Uh, so really it's, it's one of those properties that is quite interesting because it's really 24 hours a day, you can get a really great view from it. And, and what, what I like about it is that a, the uniqueness, you have the pool. So Pinnacle built the building, they finished the building, they put a pool up there. You can't do that after the fact. That is only something that can be done during construction. And I really don't know of another condo in the city of Toronto, maybe out there, but I don't know of it, where the specific unit has its own indoor pool in the unit. I know some have outdoor pools, but I don't know of any that have an indoor pool in the unit. It's definitely the tallest. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no other suite that's on the 54th or 55th floor that has mm -hmm. their indoor pool. And, and actually, a 34 foot pool is actually larger than most buildings. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> and, and so now if we think about it, you know, I, I love that you brought up the coal plunge because I didn't think of that. You, you think of uh, executive entrepreneurs where you, you talk about the healing or the, 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 the focus building of doing a coal plunge when they, when they first wake up in the morning. That's what Tony Robbins does. He talks about jumping in his cold river, that kind of thing. But even beyond that, if we think athletes wise or fitness uh, individuals, you know, different uh, aqua training that you can do up in that pool. There's also uh, a uh, jacuzzi tub up there as well. So you can do your cold and your hot treatment up there. Um, so great for those individuals. But on top of that, so we have that uniqueness. Another unique thing about this, even though we're on the 44th and 45th floor, we have, again, that 270 degrees of outdoor terrace space with a gas line. So you can do a beautiful outdoor area here, build into your barbecue area, um, and enjoy the beautiful views of the Lake Ontario, of the CN Tower, of the city skyline. You can be up by the pool area, put your patio chairs up there. So enjoy your indoor pool, go out, get some sun. Um, I, don't, I don't know why the, the Toronto Raptors weren't here. Imagine a rap, one of the Raptors had this unit and during the championships yeah. parade, this was where the pre-party or after party was. Like, it would have been fantastic. And, and it has a ceiling height, so yeah, anyone exactly, can fit. <laughs> exactly, so you got the high ceilings here. And speaking of the Raptors and, and uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs, we're again across the street from um, the ACC. Uh, so if you any, have any affiliation to the sports teams, we're really close to uh, the various venues, um, all, obviously Rogers Centre as well for the Blue Jays. Um, and then if you're a boater, we're just right off the lake. So you could have your boat um, at RCYC on the island or one of the other clubs that are right on the water and it's right here. Um, and, and also, talking about other space-wise, we did talk about CIBC, but also Pinnacle's developing commercial space too around Correct. the corner. Yes. 1.6 million square feet of space. So you have those individuals that are gonna need somewhere to live. And Anson, because you're a builder-wise, how many 4,600 square foot units are builders building these days? Oh, very seldom. I think that's what we, we find that we, we get that comment quite a bit that they're like, oh, why are your units so big? Whether it's a two bedroom, that's a thousand square feet, you know, 1,500 square foot, three bedrooms. You don't only really find them anywhere in the marketplace, mm -hmm. especially in the, whether it's built or, or pre-sale. Both of them are, are, are challenging to find. And, and because um, the developer, Pinnacle, is so well funded, one of the reasons they're able to do this is they don't have to rely on the same um, construction financing constraints that other builders have. So what a builder typically has to do, they have to sell 80% of the building, then they go to the bank and the bank gives them money to build the building wise. Um, because of the financing models that Pinnacle has, they don't have to sell as many units in order to get their, their construction financing to build the building so they can afford to build larger units. Why the big push towards smaller units is because the builders have to sell 80% of the building and when you're five years out, it's predominantly investors that are buying the units and they're focused on what's my maximum value I can get in the smallest possible space. Pinnacle doesn't operate that, which is unique to our market and that's how they're able to 
bring these great large units uh, to this space. Um, any other features that we should highlight on this unit? I love the master uh, bedroom washroom uh, and the walk-in closet and the views you get from the washroom. I mean, it's, it's quite unique. I mean, very seldom you'll see a, a glass bathroom and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had designers come through, so obviously having a huge fireplace. Gas fireplace, again, a rarity, getting a gas line. And don't speak again, we talked about earlier, the gas line on the terrace space as well. Builders don't have that. It's very difficult, very expensive for them to build, bring the gas and line all the way to you and up to the 45th and 45th floor. And not to mention the kitchen, right? Yep. Obviously having gas in the kitchen and, mm -hmm. and having a, a nice... Uh, Chef's Kitchen is yeah. uh, something that everyone really is kind of looking for when they're coming, transitioning from a house to, to a condo. It's, yeah, and that's, there, I, I think that's the best way to kind of end this off. It is a transition from a house to a condo, but making that as seamless and minimizing the, the life changes um, by giving those house-like features the large outdoor space the pool, your private pool, um, the gas in the kitchen wise, a true chef's kitchen, enough space to entertain, enough bedrooms, proper bedrooms with windows and closets wise for, for your, your friends and family to come stay at. It's not gonna feel like you've given up something. Um, you've just really changed locations and now you're centrally located to all the office spaces here. Um, and I guess one additional point beyond that, from um, office connection point, we talked about it. Just when we're going over to the, to the young development, there is going to be path access there. So now path access is getting closer and closer to the South Financial sure. Core. So your time outside during our winter and uh, when it's raining is gonna be uh, minimized through the path access, which sure. is now coming here um, to these locations wise, which is great and important to individuals. Oh, and the unit comes with six parking spots. So. Very rare again very in Toronto. Unique, very unique to have six parking spots uh, to kind of pair up for if you're a car collector. You can, it's, you, uh, can, really you, can you can maintain your car collection in this unit. Well, Anson, thanks so much thanks for touring for this beautiful unit. Uh, and if you guys have any interest or want to book a consultation, please read out, reach out to us at torontopentasliving.com. Um, it's Alex Wilson, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye-bye.